Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new RuneScape video. This video is going to be completely different. We're going to be reacting to Solo Missions Deadman All-Stars draft video. But if you guys are unfamiliar with what Deadman Mode All-Stars is, I heavily recommend you guys to check the new game mode Deadman All-Stars video by Solo Mission. All of that will be linked in the description. But as you guys know, I am participating alongside 30 other content creators in this massive event. And this video is going to be all about picking up my brains, letting you know where I think certain individuals should be picked, where I think certain captains maybe made a mistake in picks. I'll also be rating all the teams, which I think, like, which team is going to do best and whatnot. So this is going to be like a super laid back video. If you want to throw it on the second monitor while you do some other stuff, feel free to do so. I have never been this excited for an event or like Deadman mode or anything. I'm like super hyped for it. I've been practicing hours every single day. It's been amazing. But anyways, let's get into it. Let's watch the video. I'll be pausing in between. I'll let you know what I'm thinking. And and yeah, let's just uh, jump right into it. I'm not going to keep this too long. Again, check the description, sub to Solo Mission. This is literally the best event we've ever had on RuneScape. So let's jump into it. Welcome to the Deadman All-Stars draft. If you've missed it, Deadman All-Stars is a brand new content creator only Deadman mode lasting for a week from the 14th of June to the grand finale on the 22nd of June. Very quickly interrupting Solo Mission from the 14th to 22nd you can expect the daily uploads on the channel we're gonna be it's gonna be sick okay let's let, let's continue today six team captains pick their teams of five from a draft of incredible content creators perfect let's pause it here already these are the people the the, the, the leaders can draft okay and we have some absolute demons um, in this draft. Now, I'll quickly talk about what the general idea was, who were the people considered to be first pick, where I thought I would be picked. So let's jump over that very quickly. Now, first of all, the three people that were very hyped up and expected to be first picks were... A ri <laughs> I wanted to say Rice because of out of luck, was Rhys, Port Cazard and West Ham. Those were the almost on paper confirmed first three picks. Um, the reason for that is both Reese and West Ham are amazing at PvP and Port Cazard is like, uh, this guy's fucking ridiculous, okay, let's put it that way, he's really good at PvE, but then he showed he was really good at PvP as well, so his pick just kind of skyrocketed to that top 3 position immediately. Where I thought I would get picked, I was expecting between 4 and 12. I knew that there's no way I go like on the very bottom, but I also knew that there's probably no way I go on the top three. Like I knew, I, I understand these guys are better than me and there's probably some picks between like four and 12 that are still better than me. But what I do know I have is like, I've played every single Deadman mode. I've done really well in most Deadman modes. I think I have the most like top four, top eight appearances in Deadman mode finals. Like, I've been fairly consistent in just about every tournament. I have, like, strategies down that always net me somewhere on the top of the, like, combat, somewhere on the top of the leaderboards in most of these Deadman modes, right? So, who do I think are still better than me outside of uh, Reese West Ham, Port Cazard? I think Mazar is better than me and the pick that should always be higher than me. I think... um, I think Alfie is a pick that is like really really good the reason for that is this man day two is gonna be grinding your chambers he's gonna be playing out of his mind like all the time he's proven himself many deadman mode tournaments in a row his pvp ability is not like as good but i think his pve just um just carries really and then obviously you got ditter bitter he's been consistently doing really well however one thing about ditter is he's usually fed by a team and this time I can, I can see the teams feeding him again, but yeah, he's the type of players that if you feed him, he's going to be doing really well. Um, but how does he feed back the team? Because like, there's not going to be that many people to kill, right? You have very limited amount of players. So like, how good is early PvP going to be? Uh, but yeah, Dieter is definitely, I'd say, a little bit above me on the rankings as well. So Dieter, Mazar, Alfie, I would say guaranteed better than me. And then I would go as far as to say Signert probably is a little bit better than me as well. Now, again, that comes more from like a PvE standpoint, not from the PvP standpoint. Uh, so I think that's where I maybe jump above uh, Signer a little bit. Uh, outside of that, I mean, these are all amazing players, but I think I could be like a solid 7, 8, 9, 10 pick, something like that. That's where I go like 
with my mind. I don't expect people to know me too much, simply because I haven't really played RuneScape that much lately, uh, but I know that that's basically what I would be drafting myself, right? They'll have to work together throughout the Death Battle Stars week, then fight alongside each other in the finale. So these picks are absolutely crucial. There is so much to discuss in the draft today, so without much further ado, let's get started. Good evening and welcome. So the best part was every single content creator was chilling on Discord, but this is what I don't know what they were talking about because they were dragging people out of their Discord to have a one of the one interviews with them, right? So this is why this video is so sick because I see every leader's point of view and how they thought about the draft. So that's why I wanted to make this video to kind of kind of see where everybody was heading at, you know? Welcome to the 2024 Deadman All-Stars Draft. Tonight, I am joined by Pure Spam, esteemed Old School RuneScape streamer and Deadman All-Stars caster. Ian, how are we doing tonight? I am ever so excited to be joining you today. Solo mission to see which picks are first. Will skill specs be taken by Torvester or will he be left as one of the last ones? We'll have to wait and see. Very excited and yeah, can't wait. I know. Uh, very quickly, Pure Spam is one of those people in the community. You love his voice. His commentating is always like super good, uh, but he's also like a super friendly person to just in general interact with. So it's really nice to see that Solo has like a caster like this alongside him running this event. That was really sick to see. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for months. The cast to be picked is absolutely stacked. Going through these names, there really are no bad picks, but at the same time, some people will be going in the first round and everyone has been speculating in the past couple of hours over who is going to make it first in the draft and we actually put out a fantasy draft to all of you guys over a thousand people responded ordering their picks from 1 through 24 and i have that here and I Okay, so let's run over this very quickly. I don't want to like stop Solo from explaining. This is a little bit of a popularity contest as well. Um, like right here, you can for sure see that Mazar is like super down and he shouldn't be. Um, it, it's a little bit of a popularity contest, right? I mean, I am somewhere in the middle. I'm okay with that. I was honestly surprised to see this. I was honestly surprised how many people still remember like my Deadman mode days. It's been like years. Um, so yeah. Other than that, I don't think this is too much to focus on, aside from the fact that West Ham Resport, because they were known to be like the top three picks almost guaranteed. On the fantasy draft, coming out as a very clear favorite, West Ham above everybody else. Then we've got Reese in second, closely followed behind by Port Cazard in third. Honestly, it's no surprise to me that we've got the best of the best PKers at the top. West Ham and Reese need no introduction, both known for their incredible displays of one versus one situations, both in demo mode themselves and the tournaments, as well as just in the deep wilderness and on their videos as well. Um, surprisingly, but maybe not to a surprise to those that know him, Port Cazard, a name in the community that's maybe, you know, not known as a content creator, but someone that's achieved some incredible PBM feats. Um, a no prayer Infernal Cape has of late as well. And then you have other demo players that are known for going really far. Ditter Bitter, Alfie with the 24 7 streams. Um, Vida Victim has recently been doing very well on the Gilnor games as well. And a lot of PVM is in here actually as well, which I, I wasn't expecting to see compared to having lots of PVPers at the top picks. That is a very good point from Pure Spam. We do have a lot of PVEers in this Deadman mode because I do think PVE plays like a big part in DMMs, even the original Deadman modes where. It, like you can play those deadman modes to swap to make a lot of money on 07 if you're a good pve or you are wanted in a team in deadman mode or just as a solo player even like every pvp -er needs those good pve pieces so this just makes sense um but obviously there is a lot of pve masterminds in this uh, in this roster here so uh, yeah exactly that's the thing ultimately it comes down to pvp but if you're there with terrible gear, does it really matter how good you are at PvP? So it's going to be very interesting seeing everybody's picks. We're going to be pulling the captains in one by one, getting their picks, getting their thoughts, and keeping you in the loop. Odebok, welcome to Devman All-Stars. You... All right, Oda block. what are the predictions? I feel like everybody knew it at this point. Oda wanted to draft Riss. Um... That, that was just like on the table already and uh, so do have yeah. the first pick in the draft which is absolutely huge i know there are a lot of big egos in this cast looking forward to being first pick but only one of them can be how are you feeling about the week how are you feeling about the Odeblock warriors are you excited for devil all stars so thank you for inviting me by the way um appreciate that gentlemen um i will say though i'm feeling very excited yeah 
Um, you know, I'm just gonna go. Ahead I love the way all that speaks, bro. It's so funny always to me, man. I didn't say it. Like I, I already know my first pick. I know what I'm gonna be choosing. Have I thought about anything above that? Absolutely not. But it's okay. <laughs> we'll get there when we get there. But yeah, I got my first pick in mind. I don't want to spoil it until you ask me. It's gonna be rice. Sorry. I don't so he calls him rice. Reese is the confirmed first pick. A lot of speculations were already out there before the draft that he's gonna be the first pick. I don't know why I spoiled it. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I think I think we. Uh, I'm gonna apply a plan and. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna dominate the bracket. Okay, well I know Reese is going to be extremely happy about that. Reese, hello. hello. You are first pick hello. in the draft. You joined the Oda Block Warriors in Deadman yes. All Stars 2024. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Are you happy about being drafted? Bro, by I am Figo? so excited. I am so excited. This is gonna be the easiest win of my life. Oh my oh, days, bro. No, no, I was just gonna say like, wow, like let's humble down, but never mind. Let's just like <laughs> catch Bro, do we even need three more people, Odell? I don't think we do. The day you got this first first draft might explode, but like it is obviously you, you can't go wrong with that pick. You couldn't go wrong with West Ham either, and you couldn't go wrong with Port Cazard oh, either. Should, yeah, I just go with this? I mean we can we can we can we can and lose if you'd like, you know. Oh, 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 I mean obviously you guys are both very, very competent and strong PvP competitors. Is that gonna change your, your picks going forward? Are you gonna stick with other strong PKs or are you gonna look to get some some people to kind of you know gear you guys up? Rice, you know what? I'll let you answer this one because I just don't want to be the leader. You're the leader with me. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. We will go for different people. We'll go for a PK and then someone that is a janitor, as Oda would say. Yeah, and I'm, I, I will add some seasoning to that. Let me just go ahead and specify that. I'm going to need a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a sweat, a little bit of toxicity, and that's a PKer style. But I also yep. need a, a guy that's going to scrunch his neck down and have more Tanya down on his legs, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, the way he speaks, bro. Oh, a little, my. Bit of, little bit of grease, a little bit of sweat, and, you know, really put in that janitor work that we need for the team. Thank you. <laughs> Well, who would have guessed? Reese getting picked first, right, Joel? Reese, the first pick in the Devman All Stars draft, and I'll let you in on my pick. That All right, I'll let you, I'll, I'll spoil it for you guys. So, me and Solo, we go like way back, way, way back, when we were both like basically completely new RuneScape YouTubers. When I was invited to PvP All Stars back in in um, in England, I I put Solo Mission as my plus one. I invited this man to the hotel room, okay? We were together, okay? Like, this is, I, I'd say, one of my first friends when it comes to, like, RuneScape community. And even though I am really the, the worst person to, like, speak to people, like, just in general, I cannot speak to Solo in, like, five years. I'm gonna speak to him. I'm gonna be laughing the whole way through. I love the guy, okay? And, like, when we were talking, he wanted to draft me pick 11. I know that for a fact. He did not want to draft me pick 2. I cannot blame him for that. But I... Like, I really wanted to be in Solo Missions team personally because I love the guy, right? But I, I wouldn't mind being in any of the teams. I think, like, honestly, if you look at the, 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 the leaders here, every team I would be happy with. But if I had to pick, like, I would probably want to be the most in Solo Missions team. Uh, but anyways, what can he pick? He's picking between West Ham and he's picking between Port Cazard. I kind of feel like they, him and Dino maybe talked about it because I know Dino and West Ham are like really good friends. So Solo probably here was like, yeah, whatever, I'm just going to grab Port Cazard. And Port Cazard is so good at the game that this is like an amazing pick. So let's just play it out. That was my first pick. So it's oh, gone. No. But I, I've, been, I've been ready for this moment. I've got backup plans on backup plans. And I'll tell you what, my backup plan is a huge backup plan. I am picking... Port Kazard as my pick in the draft, no the first way. rounder, possibly the greatest RuneScape player of current times. I could not leave him on the table. He's just so good. He'll get so many items from raids, PVMing, and he's no slouch in PvP as well. So I've got to go Port Kazard here. I think that's a really strong choice, of course, that like we mentioned previously. He is just one of the greatest PVMers of all time. And honestly, he's pretty quick on the sticks when it comes to PVPing as well. I've seen him in the duel arena. I've fought him deep wilderness myself. And he, he's got it all. He's a full package. Port Kazard, you are my first pick for the solo mission snakes. Are you happy to be part of the snakes? What we said. Dude. I'm not gonna lie, this was the exact team I was hoping for and the exact team that I wanted. Oh, I'm really excited. I, 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 I think I we're gonna to win so easily. <laughs> oh my days, everyone is gassed. Port Kazard, you're a beast. I'm gonna have you raiding, PVMing at the breaches. We'll be there holding hands, getting VLSs together. I so, fun fact about this I can see these two going for like some, I don't know, like 
the thing is, Solo Mission is the type of guy that will like rush sufferings day one, and I can see that Port Cazard would join him along the way, and then if we, if they get like more people that are like that, they could be like really strong really early into the tournament. So this is like obviously we're very early on. Obviously, I know the end outcome, and just this pick enables so many possibilities that. Uh, yeah, this is already, like, with the two picks, is a team to be feared already. I actually can't wait. Dude, I can't wait, too. I'm so excited. Hello, Dino. All right, Mr. Dino. He, I think, had the easiest choice for the first pick. If Port Cazard and Reese are picked, he picks West Ham. If West Ham Reese is picked, he picks Port Cazard. Like, his pick on the first is legit the easiest, so we already know what's going to be. I know. It's going to be West Ham. to make your first pick in the Deadman All-Stars draft? Port Cazard's good. Reese. He's overhyped, you know. Oh, disrespect. I love it. Who are you picking for your first round pick in the Deadman All-Stars draft? Mr. West Ham. Very predictable. You you two yeah. together on the Battle Royale. West Ham was the fan favourite in the fantasy draft. He finished top of the tree. Obviously a formidable PvP, -er, possibly even the best PvP -er in this entire thing. Maybe Oda Reese have you have something to say about that, that but he's a you know, very strong. So all I'm gonna add here, if you guys wanna see why West Ham is so overhyped, just watch his stream for like 15 minutes and you are gonna be in awe. The man is, let's just say, really fucking good, okay? I was gonna say, let's hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> have you and West Ham been talking much? I mean, obviously, we, I'm, I assume that you've spoken to him about wanting him to be in your team since you guys go way back and have such great synergy. Have you guys talked much about the rest of your team or who else you wanna have in your roster? I'm going to be honest, no, and it's a bit of a worry. Like, I I am banking that he is going to put in some time, but it's West Ham. He might sleep the whole week, so we're going to have to wait and see. Interesting. Are you planning on feeding him, or...? Um, yeah, probably. He, uh, annoyingly, <laughs> is... <laughs> annoyingly probably is the best one, you know, so... Okay, okay. Mr. West yeah. Ham, you are here on the Dino Nuggets, drafted for the Nuggets. How do you feel about that one? So excited, bro, genuinely. I could not have gone pe like picked by anyone better. I'm so happy with that decision. Man, you can hear him smiling. Like, yeah, I'm, I, 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 my grin is so big right now. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. You two are going to be a formidable force. Two amazing Rolls Royce of PvPers. I know everyone. The way this guy called them Royce, the one I love, PvP, is the ICBA. But... How do you, everyone has you. You're the fan favorite. You came top of the fantasy draft. Can we expect some early game demo mode PKing from you two? Since obviously most demo modes, that's what you usually strive for with your content. I mean, surely, right? Yeah, like I feel like that's what we'll be aiming for. We'll probably just be aiming for dominating like the actual PvP aspect of it rather than anything else. Torvesta for. Okay, so this, I think Torvesta had by far the hardest pick of the draft. So you are losing the three obvious choices to the top three picks. Here, I think he's actually picking between Alfie or, or Skill Specs. The thing is, we were just in a call with like all the content creators, and Bodhi here said, Listen, Torvesta, if you you do not pick skill specs right now. I will pick skill specs in 10 seconds because obviously Torvesta skill specs super close. Bodhi, I don't know, Bodhi was just on a mission in this draft, okay? So Torvesta pretty much had a hard pick. I think the best pick for him is honestly Alfie here. Alfie is gonna guarantee you the PVM drops, uh, but maybe you're gonna be slacking a little bit on the PvP department. Honestly, I would, I I'd say Alfie here is probably like one of the best picks you can go for. Um, outside of Alfie, honestly, I don't know. I, I could see... I, I could see myself being picked here. Like, when we reached stage 4, I was ready to have my name called at all times. I could see Ditter Bitter or Mazar being picked here as well. I think Torvesta went with Alfie because he knows how much Alfie will provide from PVM and they are homies from, like, way back, right? But Torvesta could not go wrong here with Ditter. He could not go wrong here with Maz. He couldn't go wrong here with uh, me, Alfie skill specs because they're friends and uh Sickner is also like super good at the game but i think he's like hard to downplaying it uh, but anyways let's see what torvesta decides to pick here let's pick his brain fourth pick in the deadman all-stars draft how are we feeling about the week will the devils come out on top what are we say i'm i'm so excited this is I i've already tweeted it but this is honestly the best event to ever come to RuneScape. Uh, when I was like listening to this the first time, Torvesta comes in and he's just hyping the event up. I love this, but you can see how excited he's about this. I, I couldn't dream of anything more than this. It's just everything because 
all the problems with demo mode. Demo mode is the best game of all the problems are just resolved because, you know what I mean? Like it's all regulated, all the swapping, all the muling, all the account sharing. It's it's just all completely solved. So that is true. Deadman mode's biggest issue is the fact that you cannot police all the rules to like so many contestants. So you do have a lot of people account sharing. You do have a lot of people muling, swapping. And then, yeah, obviously you have like cheat clients, shit like that here. Nobody is going to be cheating. Like if you're cheating in an event like this, I don't know what you're doing, you know? I'm super excited and I'm a dead man veteran. I've played every single one. So I'm very confident. So Alex, the time has come. Who will be your first devil to join you on the DMM All-Stars? <laughs> oh dear. I've been back and forth, but it's got to be skill specs. No way! If oh, I had a small him. brain. There's no way to twist. Oh, no. oh we got me. <laughs> Everyone in that channel thinks I'm picking skill specs, I swear to God. Everyone. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm between three people. Okay. There's three people. I mean, of course, there's loads of really strong options, but I feel like these three. Mazar, Ditter and Alfie. Those are all amazing picks to be fourth picks. I think this makes perfect sense. And I can't make my mind up. Um, well, have you come here for advice or something? Therapy session, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've come here for some ad for, for advice, please. Um, honestly, I, I think... I think it has to be Alfie. I just fucking love that guy. Alpha, I mean, you can't go wrong picking Alfie. He's going to be playing what, all What an all-rounder. And what like, an all I just rounder. just love him. Alfie, Torvesta has picked you as his first round pick in the draft. Fourth pick overall. How are you feeling about that? Are you excited to be on the Torvesta Devils? That's very cute. I can't wait to play with you, bro. Yeah, me uh, too. Dude, you know, I just, I just love you a lot and I couldn't, couldn't turn down the opportunity. Me, me and Alfie go way back. We used to dar up. Yeah, I used to fight him on stream about like 10 years ago. Yeah, we've been friends for a long time. Uh, I'm, excited. I'm excited to play DMM. This is gonna be. Uh, this is really cool to hear. I didn't know that they were like friends for that long. Obviously, Sick. I have yeah, the I'm inside excited. and information Skills now. Specs. But this still. is a very good choice in the middle, not a first choice. Come on, I can't turn down you. Come on. That's very cute. I love you too. I'm good. So fun little fact: as a as a uh, participant of the Discord call that happened below this call. Everybody, as soon as Alfie was picked, Boat is like, all right, guys, boom, five seconds, I'm picking skill specs. And this is the most chaos move. Like, just listen to this. I'm gonna move Boat in. Oh. Yo, right, oh, give me skill specs right now. Don't give a shit, don't go on. Skill oh. specs right now, mate. That's it, you're no straight way. in. Straight in really? with the specs. Oh, you have no and this is like, everyone was like, there is absolutely no way. Oh, I dare I, but I wanted God. to play with skill specs in Deadman mode. Put him in the team immediately oh, now. Oh, skill specs joins the Bodhi Whales. And this is the start of the Bodhi Burgers. Okay, we got Bodhi, we got skill specs. And this is where I feel like all the competitors are going to end up like kind of memeing on this team. But you cannot, you cannot meme this team. I mean, these are some, you can see, they, they, are, they don't care if they go into the final with like one food left in the inventory, which by the way, the way it works is if you're dying throughout the week, you're losing hard food for the finals. I heavily recommend you to check the first solo mission video. So you're like familiar with the rules, but this can be crazy. I, I feel like skill specs is super slept on. I mean, this guy is going to be, I don't know, he's, he just has so much fun. He's one of the most enjoyable people to just watch play the game. He's funny, he's good. I mean, it's a good pick. I do think there's better picks to be picked, but if you're aiming for content like Bodhi is, this is like a good pick for you. When Torvester chose oh. Alfie, bro, I was so happy, mate. Mr. Specs, bro, are you ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am cool. ready, buddy. I am ready. Hell yeah, well, I, I, I knew, man. I, when you say when you say you're gonna pick someone, I think, I think you're a man of your word, bro. So. Obviously, you two are an amazing match. Paired up in Guildhall Games Season 2, the reunion, you've been friends since forever. The 73 is iconic because of the power of you. I don't know. You're just legends in this game. I can't wait to see what you pick up. That's it. Oh, I mean, if you, if you want to know the truth, like, I think, in all honesty, Skill Specs is an underrated pick. He might drop hey. some lives, but there okay. is no one on this roster that is more fearless than him and Deadman to just go and attack someone in the middle of nowhere with two trouters in his inventory and just kill him, bro. I genuinely I, bro. think off this roster, if they right click the name Skill Specs, bro, they should panic because there's a very good chance he's just going to bolt you immediately because he just doesn't care.
I am a booty whale, buddy, and I will sacrifice myself for you, bro. Okay, sure, I have this, just, man. Don't you worry. I am ready. Oh, dude. Good times. Yes. Okay. Just do remember, Jay, obviously, if you do die too many times, you do start to lose supplies. Oh, fuck off, you <laughs> <laughs> right, hey, dude, brother. what are you doing, man? Bro, I'm gonna be fine, all right, dude? I'm not gonna... It's, 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 this isn't World 3 or 3. I ain't throwing it away, all right, bro? I'm gonna... It's gonna be good. So, foe... All right, so this is where I actually thought I would be picked, between 6 and 7. I spent quite a lot of time on foe's stream, and foe was like... I, I think he's such a fucking smart person. Like, he will, like, overhype certain players and, like, underhype other players. And he was overhyping me, but not because he wanted to pick me, but because I think he wanted others to pick me. Regardless, I think Fo here has the best possible spot on the draft after, like, I think the best is, like, 1, 2, 3. And then from the 4, 5, 6, Fo has the best, um, best like, draft location, right? So here you have Mazar, you have Deter still in the in the mix and I think you should be picking them together but what I thought would happen personally I thought he would pick Dither and I thought he would pick me because both of us have played Deadman forever both of us have had really good uh, results in Deadman mode finals but by him going with Mazar it makes so much sense that guy is absolutely ridiculous and once you pick Mazar you pick Dither they are homies like we, I've even played like hardcore Iron Man with them they are like super close like that they are a great duo I think four did Easily the best possible pick here by, by picking them too. I don't think anything else on the list would make sense. I mean, sure, he could go with something like uh, Signard, for example, as well. He could go with me. He could go with, uh, I don't know, like a cold one. A Roydy, even a Roydy, he's like super good friends with. So he has a lot of options here. But I think he picks by far the best possible options on the table, which is going to obviously be Mazar Dieter combo. You're up with the sixth pick in the draft, but that means that you also get the seventh pick as well. So you have a massive opportunity to choose two players with amazing synergy and yourself. I know people have been looking at this pick and thinking that it's a sleeper because of that synergy. And you're gonna get two very, very good players here. You don't have to wait for it to come all the way back round to 12th. How you feel about Dead Battle Stars? How you feel about the draft? Talk to me. I mean, first off, I'm pumped, dude. Like. It like, I'm a team captain, so I don't have to be picked last. So that's really good for me, you know? Okay, so if we look at the, the list, I already mentioned that he is going to go for Dieter or Mazar as a... Like, this is what would be easily the best. I also mentioned that he could have picked me and he could have picked uh, Roydy as well in this mix or Signard as well. I think those picks make the most sense to go, like, in the next few picks. You know? Because uh, if I was in the cast, I, I mean, I'm bottom row here, I think. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I'm, I'm in a good spot. But also, like in a snake draft, having the last pick is generally a good thing. The problem is this cast is, is like, like the talent is so deep that anyone can still get a good pick second or third, even like Oda Block, you know, going first. So I don't know that I'm in the best position, but I do know who I want first. And who is that person? The dead man mode legend, Mazar. Maza, okay, okay. He's rank one from the last Dead Man mode. He's played in clans, he's played alone. He is a veteran of the mode. That's a very strong pick. He's a beast. Maza, Hello. you are a first round pick in the Dead Man All Stars draft, joining the faux K coders. I'm glad to get picked after skills of X. It's my dream. Yeah, throwing shades straight away, obviously, but <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that was a cold for me. The specs will be covered for you. But now the question is who do you go for seventh as well? Uh so here, I feel like four maybe had a little bit of impact from Mazar as well, um, because yeah, bitter, bitter. Uh, so you see, this is it's hard to figure out because like one, I didn't expect Alfie to get taken fourth necessarily. I thought it was a chance, but I really didn't expect skill specs to get taken fifth. Like I had him in the. That makes so much sense. Like nobody expected Bodhi to go for a skill spec, so that probably left four with like picks that he didn't expect he would have at six and seven. Second round, maybe late second maybe early third that throws things off but i'm kind of torn between three people here yeah so i'm thinking like roydy number one uh because just obviously a great all-arounder good synergy i understand his brain he understands mine number two is ditter just for like you know having the, probably the best pk left on the board and then number three is a cold one just because of what he brings to the table so this is surprising for me to hear, but a cold one is like insanely good at PvE. I'm not sure how good he is at PvP though. 
Um, but that is like a pick that I didn't necessarily expect for to think of picking this early. And part of that is not wanting him to go to someone else. I think it's between Cold One and uh, Ditter. So yeah, this is where Mazar impacts it a little bit. And then when you're picking between a Cold One and Ditter, I think Ditter is clear favorite to be picked here. Personally. Between a Cold One and Ditter? Yeah. Because the thing is, like, a Cold One's going to be pretty much guaranteed per scrolls for everybody on the team. And people get Ancestral. I, I think I think we go Ditter. I think we go Ditter just because, like, I think he's the best PKer left. And we need someone that can handle their own there you know snipe some other players during the not stream snipe just snipe <laughs> some other players yeah, let me let me be clear oh yeah the meme behind the scenes is that Dieter is just gonna be running around streams and stream sniping at everyone so for did the mastermind move here by picking Dieter you do not get stream sniped it's actually like Loki kind of genius strategy here <laughs> during the tournament let's lock it in okay that's a bit of I mean very strong pick I'm actually surprised he's down here on the second row, to be honest. Ditta Fitter, you are a faux yeah. K-Kona alongside Foe and Mazar. I know you and Maz have great synergy. I know you get along well with Foe. You know, you won't actually believe this, but in this channel, we have three Tata Titans right now. Yes, Foe no, that's is true. Yeah, Foe was a Tata true. member. He's an absolute savage. We Foe have was with Tata the entire time last time. Yes, he was. And we're going to be bringing home the bacon. I'm very happy about this pick. Me and Maz have been working together for like the past forever, bro. Like, I'm very, very happy about this team. So, Bodhi. All right. So, Bodhi is next on the menu. And again, we were like one channel below or talking about it. And Signer is permanently repeating, bro, I do not want to be drafted in Bodhi Burgers. Like, <laughs> and then this basically snowballed the, the Bodhi Burger meme that's like running around right now. But basically, he thought that this team is just complete joke and like dog shit, right? So he did not want to get drafted here, just judging by the, the talk we were in like under this channel, right? You have pick number eight. You've already picked up skill specs. Oh yeah, basically I already I already kind of spoiled it. He's gonna be picking Signet here. But what were what would be on paper really good picks to be picked here? Obviously, Dieter is out of the question. Um, Signet is a great pick here. Like just realistically, I could see myself being picked here at some point. I could see someone like V the Victim being picked as well. Because if you listen to Bodhi in Gilenor games in anything that he does. He hypes up V the Victim a lot of the times. He sees him as a really good player. So I could see V just randomly being picked here easily. Like I could see that being a thing. And then obviously if you're just looking for the PKers, we got Iliop still here. Iliop is really good at PvP. Uh, maybe slept on by, by people picking right now. Like he's actually solid. And I think that are that, that really is the scope of what he is picking here. I'm thinking he's picking Signer, Fida Victim, Iliop, or, or myself on, on, on this pick here. What are you thinking about your next one? Uh, so I, I want to play. Like, with Deadman mode, there's a final that's at the end that I'm probably going to have no food for anyway. So I don't know what's going on. But before that, I get to play a whole week with my friends and have a good time and a good laugh. So I need to get some people that or all that stuff I want to do. So my plan is I'm talking to sick nerd, sorry, skill specs right now. And skill specs is putting a request uh, in and I'm not sure if I can, I might have to speak to my teammate. Yeah, bro. I know, I know who you want to pick, man. But no, I'm no, just... you, know, you know who I'm picking. You know who I'm picking. Okay. I know who you're picking, bro. But dude, I've been down there in the general chat, man. And I don't, I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't know if, does he want so yeah, this is like Skillspace was also in the channel where Secret is like, I don't want to be drafted in Bodhi Burgers. Wanna be with us, bro? Man. He called us burgers, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> God, he called us burgers. He says, dude, we're the most burger team ever. And I'm like, bro, does he, he's gonna wait. He, he called us burgers, bro. I don't know, man. It's your call. Hey, you are you are the whale king at the end of the day. I'm gonna leave it with you, bro. Okay, dude. But just this man just called us a burgers, bro. Okay. Are you are you worried, Adam, that if you do not pick? your next pick that he's gonna get swept up by somebody else would you not want yes. to take that risk yes that that is my my your uh... call buddy your call i'm not even gonna have that i shouldn't even said anything bro i think i want to go with a team that i'm gonna have a good time with no matter what doesn't matter the results of this and i know i'm gonna have a good time with skill specs and i do know i'm gonna have a very good time with sick nerd so i will lock sick nerd in here now because i will regret it if someone takes him I mean, Sick Nerd is an old school RuneScape titan. He is very, very good at the game. Hardcore Man expert as well, so he might not, he might not be losing too many lives. I'm here Hello? to have a good time. Let's have what, a good time. What have you done, bro? Sick Nerd! No doubt. 
This God, team is so cursed. There's no way Sinclair joins it. He's so like not happy about it. Watch this. <laughs> it's fine. The Bertie Wales, Bertie's kill spec Sinclair. Sinclair, how are you feeling for Deadline All Stars? Uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, bro. Uh, confident. <laughs> confident. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. That's what I want to hear. If I go down to Sick Nerd, he can no life the game. General and Hexus X rank one overall. Parker Ryan. I'm pushing 30, bro. It's over. I'm not too sure about that anymore. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun as well. It'll be fun. I might have a decent day free, but that's uh. That's fine. There are definitely no bad picks in All Stars. That's why everyone's been invite invited. Everyone can hold their own. Everyone's so got a skill set. Opinion? No, I, I genuinely, I genuinely just, think that. Just, because... like a, just for the YouTube video, bro? No, it's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Literally, like the three of you have played so many dead man modes. Like you, you're underrated yourselves, like massively. I don't know. I don't know why I do that. Torvesta, you've got. Oh, Torvesta coming in again with a very, very hard choice. Uh, I do think he's looking at his first pick and he sees, okay, I have a really good PVMer, mediocre PVPer. He wants to put like a PVPer here. And again, I could easily see myself being picked here. I could see... Wait, my brain, my brain. I need a, I need a picture. Hold up, I need a picture. Got pick number nine. Mm -hmm. Have you done? Oh yeah, yeah, perp, perp. I, I can see him picking perp as well, cause like super PVP. I can see him pick Iliop as well, because he needs that PVP power. Iliop will also provide maybe a little bit more structure to like the multi fights and whatnot and whatnot. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's between one of those three. I'd say Iliop, me, or perp. Done much thinking about this. I, I think the yeah. draft up until this point has been somewhat unexpected. So few yeah. spanners in the works. What are we oh, saying? Man, I, t I, t I tell you what, fuck my team. I'm ah, there we go. We see. Is there anybody else I missed? I could see Skiddler kind of going as well. The problem with Skiddler is people don't know how much time he was willing to commit. Um, what else do we see here? A cold one could be also a decent pick for, for Thorvesta at this point. But again, you go a cold one, you're really struggling on the PvP department. So he has to go like Perp or me or Iliop here, I'd say. Rooting for Boaties Burgers. How does it feel to have skill specs snatched up just before your pick? Oh no, what a shame. <laughs> what a shame. No, I, th I think it was content if he was on my team or on the opposition. Yeah, did, did, did you have plans for skill specs at pick nine here? What are you saying about that? Uh, not this pick. I mean, if I, I, I would have picked up the scraps later on if he was there. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, okay. no, not, not the third the pick. skill no. specs disrespect. <laughs> I expect nothing less from you. So what are you thinking about this ninth pick? Okay, so... Basically, it was between three, Eliop, Perp, and Mika. I actually did not know that he was thinking between us three. I didn't go that deep into the video. Basically, yesterday when I was watching, I watched it like 15 minutes. And then I messaged Solo Mission was like, yo, dude, are you okay if I do like a reaction to this video? Because I think it would be really cool to like share my thoughts. So, but yeah, this, this makes sense on paper. This makes sense. I would say V the victim, but... I need to prioritize. Oh yeah, I completely slept on V as well. V is like a good pick at this point. Prioritize PKs and Alfie is very confident in Perp. Um, he's a, he's an all rounder. He's been PKing for years. That's his roots, PK. But he plays Iron Man every day. So and he's got the Dead Man experience. So I think he's him. Perp, you are a tall Vesta devil. Any thoughts? Yeah, the devil. I'm, I'm along with Alfie and Torvesta. You happy about that? Yeah. Yeah. Now that's a good choice. I yeah, hoping, I think I, I think we've got uh, Alfie. Alfie just messaged me. He said I've been practicing PK in twenty hours a day, so I'm happy about <laughs> that. I was watching Alfie earlier today. He's got at the point of this recording. I'm currently three zero against Alfie, and then he didn't want to duel me anymore. Just like uh, insider information. He's got a long way to come. I tell you what. <laughs> oh, no. just... Wait, really? Wait, <laughs> wait. Please just, no. It was first, it's Dude, first round though. <laughs> Fuck. Did you see? He's a big skilling freak. He's a strategist. He's yeah, a exactly. Gamer. He's got he's got it all. And uh yeah. That's that's the reason I picked you as well. Um PK from the roots, but also worked in a team, dead man experience, yep. Iron Man, everything. So Yeah, yeah. Hello, Dino. You have the tenth pick to Okay, and here funnily enough, I was like, okay, if I get drafted in Dino West Ham meet him, this would go crazy. And at the same time, I was like, if I don't get drafted here, I'm in solo missions team almost guaranteed. There's no way solo skips on me. Like, I would be very, very surprised if solo were to skip on me. So here, I was actually happy because I ended up being in the teams I wanted the most. My top team was solo. My second top team was Dino. And then my third top team, I think, would have been... 
Uh, either to, uh, it, it doesn't matter, like everything is so good, like all of these teams are so good that I wanted to be drafted the most in solo, and then I wanted to be drafted the most in dino, and then after that I wouldn't really matter, I think the third sp spot I wouldn't really care about. Joined you and West Ham, um, the more I look at that, the more I think they're just two PvP beasts together, it's going to be hard for anyone else to compete at this stage, but... You know, you might be running around like headless chickens for all we know in Dead All Stars. So, what are you thinking? I Fun fact, I'll wait a bit longer. I was thinking this is what I want, like, a game knowledge slash PVMer type of guy. Because, as you say, me and Cass would be running around like headless chickens. But, I think I'm going to go a bit of a curveball and double down and just make a PvP team. So, wow. I think I'm going to go with Mika. So as soon as I hear this, bro, I feel the relief because I do think right now from the first three picks, this is probably the strongest PvP-oriented team. Another thing is, as this shit is happening, West Ham is dragging me into PvP arena, and we, as soon as I get drafted, we start practicing the PvP arena. I kid you not, I nearly smoke him, then I start choking, then I lose, but th he was like instantly a little bit impressed, I'd say. But uh, yeah, anyways, moving on. What they thought I could do, they thought I'm like the solo raider type of guy. Little do they know, that's not really what I am there for. I grind, I plan, I PvP, I get stats over everyone, I put the hours in, and then I perform in the final. That's how I've always played Deadman modes. They thought I'm more of a like a raider type of guy. So because of that, I impact our future pick a little bit, and I'll tell you when we get to that as well. But at this point, I'm like super hyped. Let's see what happens when I get dragged up to the channel. Mika, okay, I mean... That is not a bad pick. He is a titan in dead man mode. He's, uh, I think he's got a fair bit of game knowledge as well. And he's a very solid PKer, so. Oh, you just took my pick. <laughs> That's made me happy. So there you go. Solo says he stole my pick. When I hear, hear this, I, I have the biggest smile. Uh, but anyways, I'm super happy to be drafted in uh, Dino Nuggets, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you literally just took my go. Mika, you are a Dino Nugget alongside West Ham and in Dino himself. How are we feeling about this one, boss? Dude, we're feeling good. I'm not gonna lie. Even though Dino did put me in the B tier, I'm gonna be honest. But... So a little bit of explanation when I said that. Dino was doing like a, like a tier list. And he put me in the B tier and like my ego was like painful, you know, like, bro, are you are you sure about that? Why are you putting me in B tier, my guy? I've like played every Deadman mode. I outperform everyone in every Deadman mode. My guy, you're doing me dirty. And then when I get picked here, it kind of makes sense. I think he was like trying to throw the, the people off of me or whatever. But still, bro, I was so happy to be drafted in this. And uh, yeah, let's let's hear the rest, I guess. But I think the team's really insane, honestly. Like the first three picks. Good team. Picked you because you're good at PKing and you're also have more game knowledge than me and Casper combined, so. Yeah, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. I mean, this is really good. I'm happy. Yeah, I was literally just, I was banking on Mika there. Oh man, okay, so I have pick number 11. Okay, and now what does solo mission go for? I just got yoinked from his roster and he's looking at himself, Port Gazard, both good PKers, but not the best of the best. But pardon, like Solo, I'd say, is not like SSS tier. He's like one step below, and Port Cazard, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he's also not like SSS tier. He's like just one tiny step under. Uh, Port Cazard obviously carries heart in PvE, and so the Solo and strategy and so on. So, what am I thinking here? Is I think Solo needs like a PvP. And what is the best PvP left on the board? I, I don't have the thingy switch here. But Iliop. Iliop is sliding through to pick 11. People sleep how good this guy actually is when it comes to PvP. So, yeah, I can easily see that being uh, one of the picks here. In the all-star draft. And I'm going to need some minutes. Ah, there we go. So, I think... At this point, Iliop is the best pick possible, V the Victim is the second best pick possible, and I'd say a cold one is a super, super good pick here as well. So, let's see what he goes with. Um, but yeah, those three picks here I think are the best, then Mats is like a bit slept on, Pip is like a little bit slept on, MMORPG is like super slept on as well. Like, you got good picks to pick, Roydy is still here in the bottom left corner, also slept on, like, these are good picks. Um, obviously, apologies for not naming like the others, also like Rexy for example, right? Most people don't know how good he actually is. Like everyone here is like really good, but I think the best options are Iliop V and a cold one. To consider who I am going to pick here. I currently have myself, Solo Mission, and Port Kazard, and my 11th pick needs to compliment us. We're not S tier PvPers, we're probably A tier. 
we're just below the top level so i think I okay yeah i i don't know i say the exact same words as solo mission but it makes sense i do need pvp strength but at the same time Oh, I don't know, it's really tough, isn't it? Well, I mean, Dino decided to double down by also getting another, you know, formidable PKer. Maybe you could go with some more all-rounders, considering who's left right now. Yeah, looking at my pick spot as well, do I take a risk and hope that somebody's left over to pick number 14? Because Odeblock and Reed... That is really good thought process to have. Like, if he wants to, like, I don't know exactly what he wants, but if Odeblock then has two picks, he probably steals the one he's trying to, like, leave behind, right? Because Oda will have like the two really good picks following up this pick. Let's have two double picks back to back coming up, which is going to be spicy. And then I get pick 14, so... I okay, so let's think of it this a little bit differently. We got four picks that we need to consider that we want to be picked in the next four rotations. I'd say the top four players in this position would be Iliop, a cold 1v. And I would say Mutz. I would say Mutz here would be... Would be there, but... I mean, I know what the outcome is going to be, but if I was picking, I would be considering those four picks right now. I can sort of pick with some half synergy in mind and hope that somebody doesn't get picked. Oh, man. Um, Dude, he's like not sure about this, huh? 12, 13. I think they're probably going to pick Skiddler and a cold one, maybe. I would love to help you right now, but as an impartial I know, cop, yeah. I, I cannot know, give my opinion respectfully. Solo mission, you've been going round in circles, chasing your tail for the past five minutes, trying to decide who will be the third pick for the solo mission snakes. Have you come to your conclusion? I have come to my conclusion, and I'm picking to bolster the PvP element of my team here. I am picking Elliot 14, the king of Mage Bank, to join me in Park Kazard on the There it is. I think that team is to be feared. I mean, people are gonna sleep on solo missions team. Like these are three amazing players and Iliop will definitely provide a bit provide a bit of like stability when it comes to PvP. And again, I can see them being like super strategic team. I can see them rushing sufferings. I can see them locking down sufferings or something like that. Like trying to really control some of the like most important areas of the of the game. And uh, obviously what's important in those areas? Multi fights. Who do you want in multi fights? Someone comfortable, maybe calling, maybe comfortable tanking. Ilya provides you all of that. Stakes. I think he can do a great job for us. Remember some of those breaches in multi are going to be an absolute madness and I need a leader with me to carry the PvP side of things. Let's go! Elio 14! What's up boys? Let's Welcome go baby! Welcome to the solo mission snakes my friend! Hashtag snakes baby! Hashtag snakes! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Oh I hope we're going to be Let's dropping go. that on some people. Dude I'm, I'm so happy right now. I'm, I'm really really happy to have you. I think what swayed me in the end was the breaches are going to be multi. I know you're a leader of men when it comes to group yes. PvP. King of Mage Mug. I'm so happy to have you on the oh, team. Man. I'm so happy, dude. We look stacked. This is big. I'm so excited. I'm yeah, so excited. Me, me you and Port Kazard. And I, know, I don't know you're pretty decent at PvM. I'm, I'm hoping that's right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I got blood okay. from it, man. Exactly, it might have taken bro. me 300 yeah. orbs. I did do it, though. <laughs> I know you won't let me down. I'm really happy to get you I will not. 11. I'm ready to grind, baby. Let's My do this. God. I'm hype. Okay. This is a big team. Perfect. Hello, hello. Okay, Mr. O is back in the building. I do need to like check what kind of options he has. But we said that there was um much left, V the victim left. Oh my I need God, to see the like right list now. real I've been quick. Having, like, a fucking asthma attack and I don't even have asthma. This is terrible. My bad. I had exactly the same. I was about to pick, <laughs> Wait, I was about to pick Mika. You took a long time. And he got you took a long time. <laughs> you literally took a long time. You died. And the thing is, I was going to choose Iliop if you didn't choose him. Yeah, I so. thought you would. I thought you would try to snatch him up, bro. He's too good value. He's too good value. You do have pick number 12 and 13 here on the draft. You can build some great synergy. You've already got Reese, the number one pick. You guys are go to the PvP. What are you thinking? I'm gonna choose. Okay, there we go. We can now see what he can choose. So what would be the best picks? Vita Victim, amazing. Mutt's amazing. A cold one, amazing. Um, I could see Skiddler being picked here as well. I could see Pib being picked here as well. I feel like MMORPG would slide a few more picks, but he's also like super good pick. And I feel like Roy D would also slide a few picks and he would be good. And then you got donated. Like all of these picks is like hard to say. I think the top three picks left on the board, a cold one, V and mutts as my my first pick 
I'm gonna choose. Uh, oh man, this three soul mission. I'm mean, sorry. Like, just give me a second. Like, <laughs> no, oh, man, this is you're welcome to take all the time you want. I just took so oh, much time man. because this is massive. So okay. right, I'm just gonna break it down right now. <laughs> so these are the options in my mind. It's okay to say this out loud because we're picking the next two anyways. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm having mixed things on a cold one, V the victim, and Pip. Ah, he wants to go Pip. Okay, yeah, I can see that. By the way, really interesting information about Pip. The guy is going to be putting you a lot of hours. The guy has been practicing like crazy. Uh, I fought Pip a couple of times. Um, he beat me a couple of times as well. He is not bad. Like, he's not bad. He's gotten a ton better. He's practicing. He's putting in the work. I can see Pip being like a sleeper pick on this, like, board here that's left. So one of them has to go, but who's actually going right now? Talk to me about that. I am very, very happy with be the victim and Pip. Uh, that's not got. confirmed, solo mission. <laughs> <laughs> sure. that's not, that's not well, well, he's, hey, I'm not the team captain. I'm not the team captain. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just giving my opinion. No, no, he's just giving me advice. He's just giving yeah, me yeah, advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk through it. Talk through it. Go on. Be the victim. Like it's damn on experience. Like the fact he's like led lit in the in the past. Like PVMer, GG winner, all rounder that we want. So we were talking about all rounder, and then we wanted a nerd. So I think be the victim first, and then Pip as the uh, the nerd. So, what are we picking Pip for? Is it is it knowledge about the game or is it knowledge, pending? strategy, like stability, someone that's going to play the entire time? Like it, it slots together really, really well, in my opinion. Like I, I played with him with the battle royale. Honestly, super impressive. I could feel you, you guys. You guys are torn right now. You guys are absolutely bro, bro. Torn. I'm, I'm, I'm. Okay, I'm so Solo with... here is trying to pull Pip. By the way, he's. I guarantee you, Solo is like thinking, bro. I want Pip so much right now. So he's like, kind of. I don't know. Like he's like. I, I, he's like so like smart the way he speaks. <laughs> I swear. I swear. I am. I'm biting random objects in my room right now. I mean, would you want to lock a twelve in first, and then maybe they can help you with the decision? I'm locking in. Be the victim. Not there you go. That's probably the best pick on the board, I'd say. V the victim. Uh, I'm surprised he slithered all the way down to pick 12, I believe. That's a good pick. Uh, v the victim, a very, very strong pick. Winner of Gilno Games Season 3, so you know he has huge credentials. And also, he's a Deadman veteran. People might not know, he founded Lit, which is one of the biggest Deadman clans from back in the days. So very, very strong pick. V the victim, you join the- Ah, uh, look at these rosters, like the top three picks. Oda Riss, V the victim, insane team. Solo Port Iliop, insane team. Dino West him myself, trash. I'm kidding, insane team. Torvesta Alfie Perp, I think a little bit weaker than the first three. Body Skills Plexic Nerd, the Burgers, I think they're underplaying themselves. These are all three great players and then four Mazar did it absolutely stacked team so this is looking to to be a bit crazy not gonna lie this is like so close the ode block warriors as their third pick alongside reese how are we feeling sir i'm feeling i'm feeling great this is oh, the best team and great fucking facts we're just about to win i don't know what else to say really oh my he's wait, wait, victim. With confidence I, victim i got a question i got a question who would you pick next if you were the leader just out of curiosity skidler so he picks the person that they weren't even talking about at all. Like he picks Skidler. Skidler is really good at both PvP. The biggest fear why Skidler got slithered all the way down to those picks or consideration is because he put that like we did not know how many hours he plans on even playing the game. So that was like the biggest thing about Skidler. I'm pretty sure he had like some health issues as well. Like just just stuff that is like uncertain. I see. <laughs> that's all that with the icy. Well, you've shot the better that one. That's a complete. <laughs> that's a brand new name. That's just come on. That's got us nowhere closer. I, otherwise, you guys else is all that one. Hold on. What? What is our? What is our focus, Bigo? <laughs> we, what do we, we need in your we mind? We want a pit or a cold one. I'm not gonna lie. That was crazy. That was that was a crazy. <laughs> I can't lie. I pieced both those guys up at the PVP arena. So. Oh jeez, that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Right now, I'm having uh, some conflict between if I either want a cold one or a pip, and I don't Have know. You thought about mutts? I, I you want. Like... Oh, V brings the mutts to the table as well. Very, very slept. Very, very good player. He wants stability with pip. Like, is strategically, he's actually very good. He will listen, as well. He's very, very good at listening, and he's actually been practicing a lot. Who would you choose, Cold One or Pip, out of curiosity? Probably Cold One. I think he's so good at PM that he's really big. And I think you're sleeping on Skidler, because I'm pretty sure he, like, canceled everything, all his plans to stay home and grind all week, and he's pretty good. 
I'm not gonna lie. I think we all have. Like, I have a son and a wife, and yeah, I told yeah. them. I told them, you know, like. Tough shit. I said. I said. You're not my so, son you know, this week. I, I, I know. I'm saying this with like Joel and Nicole right now. If we don't pick Pip, he's hella snatching him. Right. I know who, this. Who, who, who did you, who did you say? Uh, that? Solo mission, Who's... sorry. Solo mission, yeah. Solo mission, the call. No, no, if solo... we don't pick Pip, solo mission's going to pick him. Do you truly believe that? Yep, I do. You know what? Yeah, I'm I doing the that... reverse Uno. I'm doing the reverse Uno. Solo mission. Yeah, who yeah, you, you, you are right. Next? You are right. How are you guys going to trust a single word I say, bro? I'm the least so trusted right. person you know, uh, in this entire bro, community. It says Iliop and Pip on the same team are a dangerous co combo. They're very close. Or yeah, they lure together yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah, no, that's what I'm like. <laughs> Joel knows this as well. I can, I can fucking feel it in his brain right now. He, <laughs> he knows. He wants us to not pick Pip. That, that's, that's what he wants. Is there that much difference in PVM between Pip and Cold One? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cold is <laughs> one of the best PVMers in the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He loves <laughs> bro, right, he, right, but, right. <laughs> He's a fucking janitor. The thing that also is like worrying me is. So much as team after we pick a cold one. Yeah, yeah like the... you're trying to ruin chemistry. While are, 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 yeah. you say, are you saying you fear the solo mission snakes, Reese? Is that what you're saying? Yes, I am saying. A other than us, man. Oh, you are the, you know, you know the, the second best team. Of? It reminds me of Mel's boy from Harry Potter. He's like a little snake, bro. This, little yeah, this pick is taking forever, but this conversation is so funny. I just want to listen to it. Yeah, bro, this like, he's just like, he's he like just going, knows. yeah, Cold was the best pick ever in the game, bro. Pick him, pick him. He's a little snake, bro, this guy. He's like, he's literally part of the Slytherin. A little eroded. I think I'm going to lock in a cold one. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. Okay. I know you didn't yeah, no, like no, that. No, but... that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm locking in a cold one. Oh, yeah, fine with cold. He's, he's extremely good. There you go. I'm, and I'm the cold one a... gets picked. Now, all the blocks playing with Reese V and the cold one. That seems to be feared for sure. Cold one. I'm locking that in. And now we're thinking solo mission. They said it. He knows it. He's picking Peep here. Peep has been practicing. Is going to put the hours in. I think that's a, like a no-brainer. And then I'll tell you what our team was discussing. Whilst I was PvP arena versus West Ham, what we're picking as a number 15 pick of the draft. Yeah, I, we just need somebody that's S-tier in PvMing, and I think yeah. we, got, yeah. we got that guy. Mr. Cold One, you are part of the Odeblock Warriors alongside Victim. Oda block himself and Reese. How are we feeling about this one? Uh, do I have to shave my head before we start or what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when the well, what, you, what are you trying to say? Man? Join right the tribe, in. brother. Join the tribe. I mean, gonna fit right in, bro. Oda's got hair transplants. Luke is bald. Reese, uh, he's got some hair, but he could probably shave it too. Yeah. Are you gonna be janitoring like a lot? Janitoring? <laughs> yeah, like like playing a lot is what I'm asking. Yeah, I'm playing as much as I can. I'm of course. Out the 120, but I'm not gonna make guarantees on that. Okay. Yeah. No. Of course. I mean. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, guys, I think we got a good team, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what other people get. My consideration. All right, so solo considerations. Pip, very good. Mutz, very good. Rexis Kidler right there as well. MMRPG as well. But I think out of those big Mutz slither to the very, like, very, very low. Because people don't know that he's actually not that bad at PvP at all. I mean, the guy is Grandmaster on a hardcore Iron Man, and he can PK. And he's slithering down to such low numbers. I think Mutz is an amazing pick here. Um, but I do think Iliop is going to be convincing solo mission to pick Pip. Because their home is like that. So it's also a good pick. Pip has been practicing for like weeks. And he can get even better. He's not bad. So for sure Pip also a good choice. So I think he's considering Mutz Pip here. But let's hear it from him. On this next pick is about team synergy. Wait, so by saying that Cold One was way better than Pip, that was actually you being a snake as usual, then? No, 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 no. A Cold One is <laughs> way better than Pip at PVM. Pip would say that himself. Reese Re just really wanted Pip. But Pip, okay, some knowledge about Pip. He has been practicing 10 hours a day for the past five days in the PvP arena, and he's really not too much of a slouch when it comes to tri these days. He's also a pretty damn good strategist, and I know this guy is going to go full grease mode on the hours. He's like me. This man won't sleep night one. The momentum is hard to come back from with people like that. And between Pip, Skidler, and Rakesy at this point, all three of them would be very good picks. Oh, I see you hovering so... your mouse over these picks right now. Oh. What a decision to be made. I'm going with Pip. I love this man's dedication to seasonal game modes. He plays tons of hours. He synergizes extremely well with Elliot 14, and he's been doing a ton of practicing on his NHing. People would be sleeping on him, but I've been doing fights with him over the past few days. I think he's slightly worse than me in PvP, but that will come up in all the rest of his game. A bit of a curveball. I don't think people are expecting this pick, but I'm very happy to have Pip on the team. Pip, you joined the solo mission snakes. 
How are you doing, my man? I, I know you've been in the lab practicing so much recently. and Yes, sir. He has been. I'm excited for the week with you boys. It's paid off, bro. The, the soul and mission yeah, snakes, better. man. We're looking very, yeah, very, very good practice. right now. I'm hyped, boys. This <laughs> looks really strong, man. I'm going to be real. This is looking good. What are you thinking, Pip? Happy to be on the team? We got the fucking goat of RuneScape. We got the goat of RuneScape YouTube. We got Eli. Oh my god. No, I was no, picking no, you up. I told him to pick you, dude. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Wait, I, but we, me and Eli have like the synergy though. We do, we do. We so play together like every day, like straight up. We probably play this exactly. together like every single day. And, and that's yeah. part of the reason why I did choose you, Pip. I knew you'd have synergy with the team. I knew yep. you, you've you been practicing, putting in the hours of PvP. You're familiar with Deadman mode, really good at temporary game mode. So I think you're a very solid pick. That was uh, the best pick, down. hands down, for sure. Okay, I'm, so. I'm, so, I'm so glad you guys are guys. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I was with it. Mr. Here he is. Ah, uh, okay, let's talk about it. So. We are in a call, we, me and Westham just thought, they thought I was like a, a raider, right? They thought I could like solo chambers, do all this good stuff. I was like, listen, bro, I, I, I am not that good at that stuff, like, you know? And here I was like super vouching for Mutz. I couldn't believe that Mutz made it all the way to pick, what, 15 with all of the achievements he've, he has completed by himself, right? Um, but Wesham was really, really wanting to draft uh, Skiddler here. He was like really believing in Skiddler. My biggest fear is if it's me, Dino, Wesham, Skiddler, who is doing the nasty. You know what I mean? So here I was like, listen, I, I was kind of convincing Dino. I think Mutz is the pick to go for here. Um, but Skiddler would have also been amazing. However, if you if you pair like people that are so oriented towards PvP together, it could be hard if you ever fall behind or if some of the plans doesn't go right like how do you bounce back from that who's going to be grinding you the items i can see dino and west Ham want to go early to pvp so somebody has to feed them that has to be me that has to be somebody else i was personally super vouching for mats here and uh yeah let's see what we end up deciding on it's dino Hello again. how are you feeling for the dino nuggets at this point in time pick number 15 we have there are a one. lot of good it's insane oh wow okay I... okay <laughs> There's, there's two people that I wasn't sure about, and I was hoping you would pick one to make my decision easier, but you didn't, so I still have two people to pick oh. from. So with Solar Mission just choosing Pip, was that someone you were considering having on your roster? Obviously, you guys all get on very well, West Ham as well. It, it was. I like Pip, but... What do you mean it was? No, it wasn't. <laughs> that is true. We were not considering Pip whatsoever. We were considering Mutz and Skiddler, and then Dino is just too much of a nice guy. So he was like, "Yeah, yeah, we were definitely considering Pip as well here." Oh man, I love Dino, bro. That's all right. It was gonna be my last, last pick, but he's gone. So that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Um, Pip's, Pip's a good gonna, call. But... Pip was not considering. <laughs> <at all. laughs> <laughs> Listen, buddy. Okay. Oh, you're Bro, you're Dino, you're such Casper's... a nice guy, man. Come on, Hear bro. me out, man. Casper's here laughing like an... he asked me about two hours ago what time the draft is. This guy knows nothing. All right, like you oh, drafted him. You. you drafted him, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. I regret it. All right, mistakes were made. But... All right, boys. Um, well, no, what are you we... thinking about? Who, who are you considering for this next pick, then? Um, well, I can tell you, I guess, because you won't snake me. Yep. It's between Mutz or Skiddler. Bro, I'm so torn. I'm literally 51-49, but I think we we decided Casper Amiga. No. So he here he's asking, I'm for Mutz. Um Casper's for Skiddler. West Ham's for Skiddler. Well you two have decided. Yeah, well, you're outnumbered, Casper, sadly. Alright. We we are going Sad. with Mutz. Sad. Going with Mutz, the hardcore Iron Man Grand Master. The man that never dies, which might be very, very useful when it comes to Deadman All-Stars, as you are punished for dying. That's an absolutely huge move there, boys. Mutz! Oh, yes. You oh, are yes. a dino nugget! How do you feel about that? Well, I hope I can leave the Warriors guilt, but... I've played almost every Deadman mode. Uh, I think, like, maybe one or two I haven't played, but... The main thing with Mutz is he's not going to shake. Like, he is so... Doing what TOVs on a hardcore and stuff, like he's not really a shaker, so that is very true. He can handle the pressure in those tough situations. Very, very underrated for the finale. Torvester, pick number six. 
And here we go back to Torvesta. He has, I feel like Torvesta was on the worst possible spot in this draft. You can never have like two close picks like back to back. Um, it's just... He's in the middle of a snake draft, which is the worst. I swear it's the worst. Um, but what does he have here? Let's see if we switch to the... Devils, you boys. Ah, there we go. So this is what I wanted to see. So what's best to consider here? Uh, I, I'd say Skidler. I'd say MMORBG now starts joining the like conversation. Uh, I'd say Rexy now starts joining the conversation. I am maybe sleeping a bit on Roydy. I don't know how good Roydy actually is. Not someone I'm personally very familiar with. Um, and I can see Donator slowly stepping onto the picture as well. Uh, but if I was right now, if I am Torvesta, who am I picking? Like I'm talking with Alfie and I'm talking with Perp. I think I'm picking MMORPG. I think MMORPG is one of those players that for some reason always gets slept on the guy has arguably i'd say the best one of the best iron mans in the game he's been playing that game mode for so long he has every drop in the game multiple times over um he is not bad at pvp as well he he can do well in pvp so i think almost an obvious choice here would be mmrpg um yeah that's what i would go for if i was torvesta in this spot uh, but i would also be considering skidler and rexy I've had some time to think about this. The picks are getting tougher. Everyone is very, very good in Dead Man All Stars, but do you have someone decided? Where are your heads at? No, we're, we're really happy actually. Um, there's there's a pick that's going under the radar, and that's Curtis. We're not 100 percent yet. It's between him and Skidler, but Kurt okay. So they're going. Yeah, both of those picks are great. I think what's going to deter them from Skidler here is again not knowing how many hours is Skidler willing to put into this tournament. And not knowing like if his health is going to be able to, um, yeah, just be there, right? This is a very underrated pick. He plays every single Deadman mode. He maxes out the hours. He he knows well. He's the absolute king of Iron Man, king of PVM. And the thing is, like, he actually can PK. You think of Curtis as just the Iron Man, but he actually can. Perp was fighting him before, and he said he was zero ticking some Baradas. We're thinking Skiddler, but the worry is like the hours it's a bit of a risk like perp what do you think you know him more than anyone well yeah, i think over. we know for sure curtis will play 17 hours a day he'll hit level cap i don't know how much elliot will play like so it's a risk he, isn't he it? might end up playing eight or nine hours a day he might play 17 but you know curtis will play the whole time so are we going uh curtis i think curtis is the plan alfie yeah let's do it let's do curtis yep curtis so there you go, they're locking in another all-arounder. You got MMORPG that can do everything for you, you got Alfie that can do everything for you, and you got locking. Perp that can carry a little bit more on the PvP side of things. But also Perp, I think, is pretty co comfortable on Iron Man as well. So that team is... I mean, there's the fact that they had the worst draft position, but their team is coming together really nicely, actually. In Curtis, MMORPG, that is a solid pick for sure. PVM master, and like you said, he is actually slept on for PVP. He's well. underrated, I'm telling he you. He is underrated. You got and, some... and here's the thing. Perp, Perp asked me like six turns ago, he said, who are we thinking? This is when there was like six more people in there, and we both typed at the same time. Uh, Curtis is being slept on. Curtis, Hello. MMORPG, Yo. you're on Hello. the top of the best of yes. devils. Nice to have you on the team. Oh, it's on a pleasure, the boys. Thank you so much boys. for the pick. Oh, this is a stacked team. I mean, Alfie is going to be putting in some insane hours. Like, Perp's been kicking my ass. I actually think that if MMORPG isn't picked here, Bodhi picks him. But because he got picked, I think Bodhi's pick is going to be complete burger, honestly. PvP in practice already. And obviously, <laughs> the nest himself, like, it's going to be a pleasure. And you're all Deadman veterans. I think you've got a lot of yeah. Deadman hours in this team. Yeah, we've got the Deadman experience. Yeah. yeah, And we, we said you're being slept on for sure. The Boaty Whales, how are we doing? You guys have Boaty picked burgers, the number. Bro. The Boaty right. Burgers, bro. <laughs> Boaty Burgers, <laughs> Boaty Burgers. <laughs> Boaty Burgers. <laughs> yeah, all right, pick, okay. Yeah, pick number 17, how are we feeling? How are we thinking? You've had quite a long time to think about this one. Donator has know. made it round the whole roster back to us. Okay, so yeah. Bode is picking Donator. He's been so fast with his picks, like no really much room to like talk about it. Um, goes with Donator, also streamer. Uh, it's just a full stream stream burger team, right? But I think they're gonna do well. Be a man of my word to skill specs. We're gonna make a team where we all have the best time, regardless if we're just getting farmed all day. We're gonna have a good <laughs> time. We're gonna lock in Donator for this. Donator joining the Bode Burgers. How do you feel about it? I know skill specs really wanted to play with you, so you've got that great synergy going on. Uh, team's looking good. Woo! <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, I was just hoping I tanked it till 17th. After I seen how the first, like, the first five played out, like, the first five people that got picked, I knew. I was like, that's that's, that's where I belong. But I was like, there's no way I'm going to be the second pick because you need a really strong PVM in there as well. And then, uh, so I was just hoping I tanked it till 17, and here we are. Foe, you have an incredible spot here. You've got 18 and 19 to round out your entire team for the 4K Kona's. That okay, so Foe, every single person was sure that he is picking Roydy, Mr. Mammal here. Everyone was sure of it. Um, oh, man, dead. By the way, Mr. Mammal has birthday on this day as well. Dude, oh man. But like, let's see how it plays out, yeah? There are a lot of very good picks still left on the board. So, yeah, basically, Roydy Mammal was like, like, everyone thought that would be the case, but uh, yeah, let's see what ends up happening. I'm so pumped up right now. This worked out better than I could have imagined, man. I mean, like, if we, one thing, one, look at our team name, okay? Can you look at our team name first, the Foke Konas, right? And then after doing that, let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and pull Rody into the chat with us. Can we do that, please? Oh, at number shit. 18. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. Welcome, brother. It's good to be a K Kona. It's good to be. A, it's a, it's a beautiful day to be a K Kona. That it's didn't. A, we we don't need discussion on day. this. We just know that that's what's gonna happen. That was that was absolutely seamless. Obviously, the farmer synergy is there. Roydy, you're an absolute beast as well. I know from Guild Excellent Not Games. So. And then here, everyone is like, okay, I'm Mr. Mammal. Let's move on to what Bodhi is speaking. But then keeping me for the end, keeping me as the white Tom Brady. It's fantastic. <laughs> Honestly, like I we have spent the last the right hour. Brady trying to talk up everyone that is not Roydy and this next person that we're going to pick. Um, because yeah, we just didn't, guy, so I didn't want him on anyone's radar at so, all. So, so like, you, were, you were sweating Roydy being picked the entire way around. Oh, dude, from pick he could have been picked anywhere yes. in the last 15. Like, I'm, I'm shocked that I get Thank to get him God, out of the I'm shocked. Oh, God like, bless like, that man. People threw so hard here. Like, yeah, shout out Roydy. Shout out Roydy. I'm sorry. So many picks that just happened should have been Roydy. Are we going to talk about the seed of deceit that was planted at some point in time, unbeknownst to me? I don't even know what this is. Someone someone apparently told Odablock something. That was like Disney Gate so is what, it, what it's being called. I, I, I heard Odablock was in a Disney. Yes, I heard that too. I, I don't know what, where this started. But Wait, I, what? I, when, when, I heard Odie um, was going to Disney during the event and he wasn't going to be playing. But then yeah, I figured when out. When Odablock drafted a cold one, I think, I, I started hearing about Disney Gate in the chat. <laughs> what Disney the fuck? Gate, no crazy. way. It was an inside this job the whole did. time. Well, it wasn't I, an inside job because I def definitely didn't do this. There was a zero percent chance I thought I would be able to get Roydy. Zero percent chance. And I think we should we should start talking about that next person because um, yeah. I have the hat on. There's six insanely good players left. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, we are the Foke Kona, so we need to bring the last farmer in here. Could you bring Skidler in here, please? <laughs> So there's no way to be Mr. Babel catches a stray and they pick Skidler here and Babel is just oh man. Oh no, you oh, just shit. didn't wow. do that. You did oh, not just do God. that. You did not just do that. Nah, Skidler! Nah, we gotta bring the king. Skidler to the Foe K This is huge. This is huge. Skidler, you round out the Foe K Koners. You guys have a very, very strong team here. How do you feel about being with the boys? I know you get along very well with everyone in here. Very good to give some thoughts. I think it's a fantastic team. Maz, what a man behind the master. A true mastermind. A good 1v1 team. As well. Skidler on his phone on the toilet. I think his mixer just broke, so he can't, like, actually speak. Well, um, me, Peter, Maz... Oh. Roydy, uh, <laughs> he forgets the fool. He forgets his leader, my guy. West Ham in a one v one in dead man mode, I believe, didn't you, Roydy? Oh, you remember? I do remember. Yeah. Oh wow, he's been doing research. He's been doing his research. And fool. He, he forgot unfair, to mention my name unfair. for some reason. But maybe one, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, just, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put him as his next I, I, on the list. I, you know, I, I, didn't, I, need to, I didn't need to mention fool. He's very well combat trained as everybody right. knows <laughs> his reputation proceeds <laughs> there we go you guys have a very 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 strong team absolutely great team, with great team. elliot's oh, gonna is... be fully locked in for this week he's gonna be playing to his best performance and we're gonna be getting home the dog. yeah sorry but yeah i was uh i wouldn't have picked me i've been i've been away for 30 days with pneumonia and then i tried to come back today and my mixer broke <laughs> that's okay oh, yeah. is that news to the team <laughs> And all, mate, all, literally, I 
for some bizarre reason on my phone on Discord. I can't even have it on loudspeaker. I have to have it on my ear, like I'm on the phone to somebody, and all I can hear is music and solo mission with its smile. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, well, oh, it sounds like God. you guys can have fantastic communication in the Dead Band All Stars week. No, no, we wrapped no, up we a great it, team. It's going to be great. Right. My, my new mixer turns up tomorrow evening. I'm going to be okay. That is a huge pick. Skidler is a 1v1 beast. Um, I'm I mean, actually shocked to see him on the last row. Questions over his hours from the other teams. But it sounded like he was going to be there, dedicated and grinding. He's no, he's a very OG Deadman player in the very first Deadman. Hello. My All right, Bodhi. So nobody knew what Bodhi is going to be picking at this point. So let's just hear it out. Friends, the Bodhi Burgers. So very sick, 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 sick nerd, are you deciding the 20th pick here? Am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's not that much left on the board. The most obvious pick to me is Rexy. The fact that Rexy still hasn't been picked, I think, is uh, maybe a little bit. People don't realize Rex is also good at PvP or decent or can be good if he puts the hours in. He's good at PvE. I mean, he's, he's good at everything. So Rex is being slapped on here. Um, in our call, we're talking about it. Yo, if Rexy makes it through, we would love to pick him up. So let's take a look and see what the Bodhi team picks here. Uh, <laughs> Already Callum got five uh, to choose from. Well, we're like a kind of a wildcard team and nobody knows what JCW can do. He's like really good at planning and skilling and stuff. And so maybe yeah. that translates to like... Most expected JCW to be more of the last picks because he's known for skilling. He is not known for PvP whatsoever. Um, and we also expected maybe Gunshilly to be one of the last picks as well. Um, because he said that he cannot invest as many hours in as others were willing to invest. Simply because of that. Like PvP. We just don't know. We kind of know what all the other guys do, and they, they are good at what they do, but this guy could be like, he could be like a port gazard, and we just don't know. So we're going to take JCW, I think. JCW, that's a very, very bold pick. He is the rank one overall from the last Deadman mode. He is an incredible skiller. Just recently finished the speed run to Max Cape on an Ironman. I think he did it in less than 1,600 hours or something like that. So he's an absolute beast of a player. Very, very good. Mr. JCW, the man himself, you're a bit of an enigma because people haven't seen you PvP, but you are incredibly solid when it comes to skilling, when it comes to hours, when it comes to the strategy. How are you feeling on being drafted here? No, no, no. So everyone was saying, am I going to get on Bodhi? Am I going to get on Oda Block? So I'm excited to be here. Looking forward to it. Oh, Have yeah. you ever PK'd before? I'm just curious. Oh, no. Straight Honestly, to the point. I've been practicing... That's good enough for me. Yeah. I've been practicing today. Me, I'm going to be practicing a lot over the next, like... Yeah, me too, man. So. I'm, I'm not very good. Like, I'm sure Don't you're worry, probably, I'm dog at it for now. Me. All right, fellas. You have a fantastic lineup. Thank you very much for participating in the draft. We will see you in the Deathman All-Stars week. Torvesta. All right, and now Torvesta... I think because MMORPG and Alfie Influence will be picking Mr. Mammal. And I think Mr. Mammal is also... I feel like he's one of the names you hear disrespected way too much. He plays the game perma. He has a really nice Iron Man account. He can PvE do just about everything. I don't know why Mr. Mammal is just automatically associated as like, oh, he's not good. I think he's really good pick. So right here, Torvesta is picking between Mammal and uh, Rexy, I'd say. And I think that MMRPG maybe will sway Torvesta a little bit into a Mr. Mammal pick here. The and the Devils pick number 21 in the draft. There are still four very good RuneScape players to choose from here. We've got Mr. Mammal, Coxie, Guns, Chili, and Rexy. I'm wondering, are you deliberating or do you have a solid pick in mind? Mm. Well, uh, I'm just worried about the hours. Oh, that doesn't sound too convincing. You guys <laughs> are a bit... <laughs> You're at Crossroads. Talk me through. We, what, what are you guys thinking? We were tossing up between um, Coxie and Ray. I miss sleeping on Coxie, actually, as well. Like, I don't know why I completely forgot about him because I thought that was going to be JCW there. Coxie could also be, like, a person to consider, actually. He... But the thing is, I don't think he's very known for, like, PvPing at all. But he does... Like, he's really good at PvE as well, from what I know. Which is really... It's really surprising to see, like, how good of a pick you can get so late into the draft as well. But I still think Rexy is, out of these four people, the best option to pick here. Rexy. 
Interesting. And we d we we we're, we're just we're trying to base it off hours played, like who who can play the most. It's pretty much who like wants to like who like will go the hardest. That that's pretty yeah cool. exactly. Yeah. 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 I mean, one other thing that we've talked a lot about in this competition is the synergy and playing with people that you meld well with and you can, you know, get along well with. Is anyone that sticks out in those four? That you oh, Mammal for sure. Great addition. That's five with with yeah, and I think Mammal would take it serious. Has a little bit of PK in experience. Obviously, he's not a PK, but he's, he's been there before, whereas I'm not sure about Coxie. Whereas at least Mammal has been there. I think he... Mammal's got more PvP experience. Yeah. Uh, Riggs is a very good PK. Like, he would yeah. be the best PvP pick. But obviously, is it less hours for Rixie? I have something else to bring up as well. Isn't there some uh, history between you and Mammal Perp? Or do you think you guys would get on? Oh yeah, Mammal beat him in PvP All Stars in a pure bracket. Mammal also beat me in the in one of the fights, uh, and I also beat Perp. The PvP All Stars was like so weird because you're playing on stage, everyone's watching, you're sweating, you're shaking. Like playing on stage RuneScape is like so hard when you're not like on your setup. Um, I don't know because it's such a precise game. I when I was playing on PvP All Stars on stage. I was trash, straight up, but I was doing still better than most people, right? Well, if you're on a team together. <laughs> Ian. No way, is that the, is that What's the history of what? what? Well, the last, uh, last All-Stars event, I believe... I, I lost to Mr. There. Memo in a pure oh, fight true. at the last All-Stars. We were all in the same bracket together, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was Mammal. me, MMORPG, Perp, and Mammal, and I beat everyone, but Mammal took like a round for me. I'll be... In in, yeah. in in the pure fight, yeah. That's a good enough reason, to be honest. <laughs> and he specced, he specked me with an armadillo crossbow to kill me, or something like that. Oh, purpose hated this right now. <laughs> I can just yeah. feel it in his voice. Oh my god. I did not know this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for a bit of that to okay, the Okay, now, can we sub <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it's got to be Mammal then. The captain goes with his team. You're locking in Mr. Mammal as Mr. your Mammal. final Let's pick. Let's go. For the Tall Vesta Devils. Hey, Mr. Mamo, welcome to the Tall Vesta Devils. How are you okay. feeling about this pick? Say Happy that. with your team? Uh, oh, I'm very excited. Yeah, I like it because, uh, you know, obviously Curtis and I have a lot of experience working yes, together. Yes. And uh, yeah, this is going to be, this is a good you, team. I like you it. You have the best personality. I think this is going to be oh. a hilarious team now. Like, and yeah. you're putting the hours right, man. Yeah, now all of a sudden when you pause this Alpha MMORPG Mammal, a really good all around there, it's perp, a little bit heavier on the PvP. This team is starting to shape up nicely, honestly. Well, like you're putting in 10 oh, plus yeah. hours, right? Oh okay. yeah, of course. I'll put in I'll put in lots of hours and I'm happy to do whatever whatever's gonna happen. Yeah, you've all, you've yeah, all worked you've all got experience working as a team. Obviously, yeah, the sure. farmers, yep. perp group, Alfie. I think we're just a very good all rounder. To, very, yeah, fair, everyone's like, very good at everything. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I think we're well rounded for sure. Yeah, this I is appreciate sick appreciate the pick. Yeah. This is exciting. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be sick. The Dino Nuggets, your final. Okay, uh, I think we were pretty sure on Rexy here. I don't think there is too much to add. We, it was Rexy or Coxy. We picked Rexy. I vouched for Rexy. Let's see what happens here. Pick to fill out your team. Pick number 22 in the Deadman All Stars draft. It's a tough one. There are three people left. Coxie, Guns Chili, or Rakesy. Are you guys unanimous, or is it still up for discussion, boys? We are going with Rakesy. Rakesy. Okay, fantastic. You just stole my pick again. Fantastic. <laughs> so Solo wanted uh, me. We oinked it. Solo wanted Rakesy. We oinked it. That's <laughs> even better. Rakesy, welcome to the Dino Nuggets. How are you feeling being drafted with Dino West Ham Vicos oh. and yourself? Dude, I'm not going to lie. I have been saying it since the beginning that this was the winning team. Um, I am a little bit upset, though, because I feel like I'm just low-hanging fruit here. And you've just scooped me off the floor, man. Like I'm like a rotten apple that's been led on the floor for like a few days. I, oh, I didn't oh, forget right. about the counterfeit bob. Fun fact, so um, Wes Ham and Rakes used to PK together at some point in their lives and they were getting hit by um, either Rot or Frontline. It was in Deadman mode and then Wes Ham teleported away and all Rakes had to do was to teleport away, but he went to Canifis back and the entire Frontline followed. And this is basically the backside of the story of this conversation. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, oh. and you failed me then, will you fail me now? Failed you then. You had an escape. All you had to do was teleport to a place. Bro, that I had like 20 right members of rot on me, 
and you couldn't even come back and it give me support, right. it dude. It was want wine. <laughs> it sounds right, like whoever it was. The team synergy is phenomenal in this team, boys. The Diamond <laughs> Nuggets already fallen out as soon as they, as soon as Rexy joins the call. <laughs> I'm sure, you, I'm sure you'll be able to make kiss and make up for the week. Uh, very strong team, though, boys. Any other final closing thoughts? On the draft that dino let's hear from you are you happy with the dino nuggets they're representing you. I, I am very happy if, if i could pick like a dream team this would in fact not west ham but apart from oh, west ham this right. would probably be it. right dino okay. being nice okay. as okay. always Mr. Nice right. guy, yeah. so. be the strongest no. team 100 percent. that's right i am pick number 23. he's gonna be picking coxie here for sure but it's kind of funny, man. And I have to choose between Coxie and Guns Chili. This is a brutal choice because I love them both dearly. When I got given the second pick, I'm glad to have it because I invited everyone here because I think they are all incredible at the game and they have something very good to offer the team. But at this point, I have three other people to consult. Hello, Hello. the solo mission snakes. We have two people left on the roster. I am a bit torn personally. What are, you, what are you guys thinking? I, I, I need some input from you, from you lot. We are unanimous, I'm pretty sure. You're unanimous? I, I think we all want to be Coxie. Coxie. Oh, We're all leaning Coxie. Coxie. What about I his, think mainly what, just because of the gameplay time. What, what about his red card potential? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just so you guys do not know, Coxie was caught like using AHK or like auto herb cleaning thing. So there's a lot of memes regarding that. Uh, so the red card potential being basically like if you're breaking any rules, your team gets red card. It's really bad. Like you should never cheat in a tournament like this, right? Uh, but there are very strict rules in place. So that's what these jokes are all about. But it's like kind of funny how many memes Coxie is like taking because of that incident. Can't he even tr can't even trust it, bro. Dude, um, imagine, imagine if he does that, but he doesn't get caught, bro. The upside. <laughs> oh, Way oh, wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, we do have solo as our. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I did pay off the ref, so you know. One of my hang-ups with Coxie is what time zone is he in? Uh, I think he's the same as uh, mine. He's in the Midwest. No, he's the same as me. I mean, it's five I, p.m. for me, so me, Pip, and Coxie would all be like same. Coxie has assured me he's going to play the hours. Oh, bro. It's so hard for me not to pick Guns Chili here. From our Guild or Games Season yeah. 2 synergy. Oh, my, my British brother. You so, are the captain at the end of the day, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be no, real. No, it's, no, so, no. it's cool if you supersede us. No, I know. I'm, I, I'm, I'm down for Coxie. Coxie is an incredible PVM, by the way. Super yeah, cracked. Yeah. Oblivion I think member. we would be cracked. If you know Coxie, you know that he's incredible at the game. So I think I'm going to go for pick 23 with Coxie, I'm gonna lock it in. And that leaves number 24 for Oda Block to be Guns Chili, which let's play it out and then we'll see. Coxie, welcome Yo! to the Yo! solo mission snakes. How are you doing, my man? Are you ready? Yo, what's up? Are you ready? I am for week? I am definitely ready. Um don't, don't say it like that, bro. <laughs> don't say it like that, bro. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> no, I'm ready. Dude, the only thing, only reason why I'm hesitant is because I don't know how I ended up. If there was any team I didn't think I was going to end up on, it'd be fucking LEOPs just because this motherfucker three hit me like Bro. months ago. <laughs> oh. It was meant to be. It was meant to happen. Like, you know what I mean? I gave you the crossing back. You're going to have to squash the beef, yeah. boys. You're going to have to squash the beef. Maybe you can There's train no you up as well. Beef. Maybe you can train you up a little boot camp. Um, how's your PvP, Dude. Coxie? That's one thing I have to ask you. Well, oh, um, oh, okay, so hold up. <laughs> solo mission with a disappointed face. Oh, being on bench. <laughs> okay, well, that's a great option. When I was doing Calvarion Pet Hunt, I got bored often and went on my main and ragged and dunked on some bots at Calvarion and killed them all, but okay. that was mostly bot PKing. So, I mean, we've had some, we played some dead man mode, but there's nine days until the start and I play a lot. Yep. Uh, and I learn, so you know we'll, we'll get in. We'll get in class. I like. I like that. And a man of your caliber in PVM, I'm sure he can get up to scratch in absolutely no time in PVP. Fantastic pick, boys! I actually can't wait to play the week with you guys. I'm super happy with our team. I, I'm, same, I'm hoping yeah. you all feel the same Me because too. we look. We're looking so so stacked. Right we're now. looking really strong. It's amazing. Oh my god! I'm so excited. Great choice, to be honest. Coxie is very, very good, but also a hard pick. I guess you went with your team decision there. I know you were really torn on who to pick. You got some good energy and obviously a past history with Guns Chili. Yeah, I do have very good synergy with Guns Chili. I've talked about 
this event a lot with him um, when we were playtesting the Coliseum together. I have the season two synergy, season two Guild Wars game synergy. Um, it's tough to see him go to another team, but at the end of the day, Coxie is an incredibly solid pick. I don't know him too well, but my team seems like he's in the P Oblivion, the best PVM clan with Port Kazard. What? I'm, I'm not even going to have to PVM. Maybe I could be off EK. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. <laughs> the Oda Block Warriors all full up with Mr. Guns Chili. Tom, I was... Oh, I was so close to picking you. We Why? You that, gave me a massive citizen. interview earlier. You I... asked me so many questions. <laughs> no, I know. I'm so sorry. I'm happy. so sorry. No, I did that to everybody. No, wait, 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 so I, got the I gotta, well. I gotta ask a question. So why Coxie over Guns Chili? I'm curious. My team, my team swayed me. All, all three of them did say Coxie. I know I have that Guild or Game Season Two synergy with Guns Chili, and I know he, he's a really good all rounder. And he puts servants on his uh, questionnaire thing when I asked him. I one. said a servant who, to the team who, who and you did me you did me so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> to the team. Let's go. Wait, wait, I heard Gun Chili was like Elf Mage back in the day. Are you sure? You, oh, okay. Shit. I mean, I'll, we'll definitely take him. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I'm actually very happy with this team. Very happy. Okay, let's do a very quick analysis and I want you guys to join me in the comments if for some reason, somehow you're one hour and 30 minutes still here with me, interested in my thoughts. What team do you think is the best? I, it's, it's actually a hard pick. I'd say we are very strong. Oda is very strong. Solo is like, bro, every team can make it. Like every team can, can be great in this tournament. So I wouldn't go as far as to say, yo, we are by far the best. I wouldn't say that. And I am really interested in to hearing what you guys think are the best teams um, because I am really torn. I would love to say we have the best team, but then I look at solo mission, I see Port Kazard, Iliop, Pip, Coxie. I'm like, okay, they are pretty strong. I look at Oda Block, I see Reese V, a cold one, Guns Chili. I, oh, they, they are pretty good. I see Bodhi, sure, they're gonna be having some fun, but maybe they can be like big upset in a lot of situations. I can see them doing really well as well. I'm not even kidding. And then Fo has Dider, Maza, Roydi, Skiddler. Like, Skiddler, if he plays, is gonna be insane for that last row picks. Same goes for, obviously, Dider, Maz. I don't doubt them. I know they're gonna do great. I don't know how many hours Roydi is gonna put in, but I can see Fo and Roydi putting in good hours as well. So that team can be super scary as well. So this this is really close and interesting. It's hard to pinpoint like one team that can do like really well. Even like I, I, every team can do it, I'd say. You guys are yeah, absolutely I'm blessed with this solid. team, to be fair. Tom, you get picked yeah. last, which it feels a little bad, but it's at the not same time, last, I am last. <laughs> but, but 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 being last, you get an incredibly stacked team. You get the first pick. You get the double pick of V the victim and the cold one. Like looking at this lineup, you must still be pretty happy with this team. Oh my god. Yeah, this team's goated. So. Bro, imagine he just said, "Yeah, they're shit, bro." <laughs> 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 no, I know you guys are really good. I love it. Oda as well as the team captain of the Warriors. How are we feeling about your chances in the week? Honestly, I think we have a very good balance. We got two strong PVPers. We have V the Victim, all around player, Cold One, top tier PVMer. Gun Shilly, I heard he used to PVP back in the day and a top tier PVMer. I mean, we got the Zalans. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, yin and yang. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I'm Bro, really excited. I, don't know, I think we are, honestly, we're going to win. Yeah. That's just a. I like the confidence, you know. That's true. You guys are definitely a team to be feared, in the words of yourself. Mr. Fjord Spam, there we go. All six teams have been drafted. Now, going through these, who, who have you got your eye on as the favorites right now? Because I really can't call it. Obviously, I back my boys in the snakes, but there are some very, very strong teams out there. Honestly, it is so difficult, um, having been a fan of everybody in here for so many years now and seeing how strong, like we mentioned earlier, this is an all-stars competition. Everybody has their strengths, their weaknesses, and having that team synergy as well coming into play. I just Everyone's just so stacked. All of these teams could take the win. Um, I'm most looking forward to keep my eye on the Boaty Burgers. Honestly, the content... <laughs> That's going to be content. Boaty Burgers on top of that. <laughs> creation from those guys just going out to have fun. But um, that being said, that's if I had to pick a favorite as an unbiased commentator, of course. I will say anyone can win and I just look forward to the week ahead. So congratulations to everyone. I hope everyone's got, you know, friends on their, on their teams. It sounds like it. And uh, you've got quite the competition ahead of you, my friend. I know it's going to be an incredibly intense week in Deadman All-Stars. We're looking good here. Some fantastic synergies across all teams. 
all the big personalities, all the drama yet to unfold in Dead Man All Stars. We will see you on June 14th. I'll be making videos every single day. You can so will I, by the way, please subscribe. Videos every day dropping between 14th and 22nd. You can tune in to streams on Twitch and Kick as well. This is going to go off. You do not want to miss a thing. Ah, uh, what a beautiful video from Mr. Solo Mission. Let's give him a little like. We're already subscribed, of course. Time to make the Nuggets proud, boys. If you made it this far, please subscribe both to Solo Mission and me, please, yeah? And uh, check out the, the, the hype video here, 10 minutes. We're not going to play this right now. Check it out. Super good. Everything will be in the description. And uh, let's have a blast of a summer here. I mean, um, as I'm recording this, we're seven days away, okay? Seven days away. We make it happen. It's going to be sick. Hopefully, this was, like, enjoyable format. I've never done a video like this, and I've done thousands of RuneScape videos, so I really hope some of you guys maybe listened all the way throughout, and if you did, make sure you let me know in the comments. Who knows? Maybe we do more reaction stuff type videos in the future. If this does well, we will see. Anyways, have a beautiful rest of your day. I'll see you very soon with Deadman Mode content. Take care, and Bye-bye.